descendants from the house and the lineage of David must go to, be, to Bethlehem and be taxed. Therefore, we must go and register so that we may enter the city. Since Bethlehem is a crossroads to travel, many different types of money are used here. Caesar Augustus has declared that the entire world should be registered and taxed, him and in his own city. And you being from the house of the lineage of David have come to Bethlehem, which is the city of David. May I have your name and the number of people traveling with your family? <coughs> Please line up and answer this man's question. Here we have 
some of our food merchants. There is not a lot of food left, so many people have come to the city for the census and to be taxed. Look at the pomegranate. They make such refreshing drinks. Your fruit is so tempting to the eye. Well, we have had lots of business with so many people coming for the city, so we don't have a lot left, but we have what is very good. We have delicious dates, figs, melons, and almonds, and priced very reasonably. It would be wise to buy these now because we can later maybe too late. Step aside, step aside. Do Romans take anything they want and we can do nothing about it? By the way, have you heard about a baby being born in a stable? I heard that rumor earlier today. They say a woman and her husband were sleeping in the stable because the city was so crowded and she gave birth to a child. A child? Born in a stable? There must be more people traveling here than I imagined. This is my I heard about that baby too and how her baby had to sleep in the baby. Here, my dress. to find vegetables. The price are the most reasonable Hi. in the city. We have the fresh onions, garlic, and lentils. Tasty herbs, too. Mommy, and some olives and some honey. These two will make a hearty meal for those weary travelers. Well, we still have to find a place to stay before we think about our evening meal. Look at this good food. We can certainly say that the Lord has given us a bountiful harvest this year. Your food looks very delicious, by the way. You can't have them. You can't have them. <laughs> Hello. Hello. These are our cloth papers. What pretty cloth you have here. We are very proud of our products, especially our woolen products. We buy our wool from the shepherds over on the hillside. This morning, they told a strange story about angels that had come to them and told them that a Christ child was born in a stable. Well, we have heard rumors all about the town. Do you say these shepherds are on the hillside? Yes, they are. Let's journey along. Perhaps we will find, be able to find one of the shepherds, and he can tell us where the Christ child is. Oh, I see you are dying purple today. It must be a special occasion. My dad comes from many sources, but this purple ball comes from the precious Merrick shop and is very costly. We also get this yellow from saffron and brown pomegranate, and this red from matter ball. If the rumors about the Messiah are true, you will want to save some of your purple cloth for him. Hey, I heard that story too, but I'm trying to find purple cloth for the king, not for the king. Well, perhaps this baby will be your king. Excuse me. This is the home of Andrew and Miriam. Our homes in Bethlehem are very small. You see, we keep our animals indoors on the lower level. They are very valuable to us. The family eats and sleeps above the platform area. Things look very busy here today. It's hard to keep these children working with so much excitement in town. Is that a flute your son is making? Yes, from our bee he got from the lady that runs down to the drove in the river. Perhaps we will hear him playing in the marketplace later. Perhaps, have you heard about the baby born in the stable? The prophet Micah said that a child, the son of God, would be born in the city of David. Could our prayers really be answered? Could this be the promised Messiah humbling us our David born in the stable instead of we can only pray that this prophecy has been fulfilled. Toda, shalom. Shalom, my friend. Shalom, my friend. Shalom. 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 Not replace or imitate functions 
from the holy temple in Jerusalem. There are no priests or sacrifices offered here. It is the focus of Jewish community activity in the city. It is a religious center, meeting hall, courtroom, and school. In this first section is our school. Boys come here to study from daylight to midday to learn the Torah, which is the first books of what you might call the Old Testament. The boys learn by listening to their teacher and repeating aloud after him. By the, memorization is a very important skill, and by the age of 10, most boys will have memorized all five of those books. After the age of 10, some of the boys will go on to more advanced classes dealing with the more complex Jewish laws. The scripture teach many things about the Messiah. The prophet Isaiah tells us that only the Messiah can take away the sins of the world. He writes, all we like sheep have gone astray. We have every one turned to his own way. The Lord has laid upon him the iniquity of us all. When the Messiah comes, he will bring peace with God to those who follow him. The prophet Micah tells us that in the little town of Bethlehem, among the clans of Judah, one will go forth for God to be the ruler in Israel. The town of Bethlehem is to be the birthplace of the Messiah. Would you pray a blessing over us as we continue on our long journey? The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Here is the city's well, where the women come to gather water every day. Many of the ladies also come here to keep up with the daily news. This woman that always seems to be in the know, and as you can see, she is very friendly with the Roman soldiers. Are you talking about me? At least I know what's going on. That's why you always come to me for information. Yes, yes, and you are always happy to apply. Tell us what you know and what you have heard about this baby. Well, his parents are ordinary people, but I heard that he is the promise of Messiah and his mother is a virgin. If this is true, this could be the virgin birth that Isaiah prophesied about over 700 years ago. Could this be that our Savior has been born in Bethlehem? Perhaps God will reveal this to us in time. Are you bothering these women? Move on! We better move on. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> better move on. <laughs> <laughs> Shalom. I really enjoyed being your guide through Bethlehem this evening. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a safe trip home and a Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you.